Hello, welcome to Valve Channel. I'm Stephen. Ball valve are very widely used in flow control system, and also ball valve is a very big family in valve industry. We're going to design different ball valve for different function, and we design different valve body and a different valve ball and a different valve setting face to make the ball valve have different function. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to use different valve body and ball and ceiling face to distinguish different kind of ball valve. First, let's talk about the difference about the ball valve valve body. If we divide difference about the ball valve by the valve body, basically we have five different uh, ball valve valve body in ball valve industry. First one called uh, just like this one is one piece ball valve. One piece means the whole valve body it is totally made by one piece. We don't need assembling another part to become a valve body. So this kind of ball valve had one advantage is when we go into assembling this kind of ball valve in the flow control system, the ball valve valve body will never get leak. So that is the advantage for this kind of one piece ball valve. And how to assembling the ball inside the valve body? According to the design, we will make a big hole from the one side of the valve body and put the valve stand and the ball and the valve seat inside the valve body. And then we use a thread to cover the one side of the hole from the flange. So this kind of ball valve, the advantage is when we're going to assembling in the flow control system, the body will never get a leak. But the disadvantage is this kind of ball valve cannot make a very big size because when we're going to assembling a very big ball inside the valve body, this kind of design will be very difficult to assembly and very difficult to disassembling to maintain the ball valve. Next one is called a two-piece ball valve. This kind of design we divide the ball valve, valve body become two-piece. The reason why we divide the valve body become two piece because this kind of design are better than the one piece ball valve when we go into assembling all the valve component inside the valve body. Just like this 4 inch 300 pressure class ball valve. When we go into assembling this ball valve, we will put all the valve component like the valve seat, valve ball, valve stand inside one side of the valve body. Because the valve body already divided to two piece. So one side of the valve body, it has enough space to let the ball and other ball valve component put inside. So it is easier to assembly. And most of the time this kind of design, two-piece ball valve, is floating ball valve. The floating ball valve advantage is floating ball valve are very easy to assembly, very easy to produce, and the price are very cheap. But the floating ball valve, the disadvantage is Floating ball valve, when the ball valve size are very big, the ball will be very heavy. So if we still maintain use the floating ball valve to design big size ball valve, like 20 inch, this kind of design are not suitable because the gravity will make the ball to damage the valve seat because the ball are very heavy. So let's look at what kind of design can make the ball valve size are very big, like 20 inch. Or 14 inch. Here is a very big size ball valve which is 32 inch 600 pressure class ball valve. This kind of ball valve if we still use the two piece valve body to design it is impossible because the gravity will force the valve ball to damage the valve seat because the ball are very big and very heavy. So we need to fix the valve ball in the middle part of the valve body. And then we use another piece to connect with the middle part of the valve body. So we call this kind of design is three piece ball valve. It is very easy to understand by the picture. It will use three piece of the valve body connect together become a ball valve, valve body. According to this illustration, we were going to use two ball valve shaft to fix the ball in the middle part of the valve body. And then we're going to connect another piece of the valve body with the middle part of the valve body. It becomes a ball valve. And also we call this kind of 
design, we fix the ball in the middle part of the valve body. So we call it, that is a trinium mounted ball valve. The ball cannot move by the gravity, so it will protect the valve seat. According to this illustration, it is very easy to understand the design. We will put the ball in the middle part of the valve body and use two shafts to fix the ball in the middle part. And then we connect another two pieces of the valve body and the valve seat with the middle part of the valve body. So most of the time, if the ball valve size is bigger than 20 inch, it must use this kind of design to design the valve body. So this one is three piece ball valve valve body. So that is one piece, two piece, three piece valve body design. All those kind of ball valve valve body design had one disadvantage, which is if the valve working in the very critical flow control system, if engineer need to change some component or repair the ball valve every year or half a year, those kind of body design are not convenient because those kind of one, two, three piece ball valve, valve body design, every time we're going to repair it, we must take out the valve body from the flow control system. It is not convenient. We really need to design one kind of ball valve, which is when we're going to repair it, we don't need to take out the valve body from the flow control system. So we invent one kind of valve body design, which called a top entry. It is very easy to understand by the name top entry. So that means we will put every ball valve component from the top. And also we can welding the valve body on the flow control system. So we will never take out the valve body from the flow control system. Every time when we're going to repair the ball valve or change some component, we just need to open the ball valve bonnet and repair the ball valve and then cover the valve body from the bonnet. So this kind of design are very convenient for the ball valve which is need to repair it every year or half a year. According to this illustration, we are very clearly to see how to assemble this kind of ball valve. We will open the valve body bonnet and put the ball, the valve seat or the valve stand inside the valve body and then cover the valve body from the valve bonnet. So when we're going to mounting or welding this kind of valve body on the flow control system, we will never take out the valve body from the flow control system. So it is very convenient for the engineer going to repair this kind of ball valve online. The last valve body design is called a fully welding valve body design. This kind of valve body design are coming from the three-piece valve body design. Except to use flange to connect each piece together, we use welding connection to connect each piece together. Because this kind of valve will work in the very deep underground position. So the very deep underground position, if we still use the flange to connect each piece together, the flange ceiling face will be quotient by the underground environment. So the valve body may get a leak after the valve body working in the very deep underground environment. So we were going to use welding connection to connect all the valve body pieces together. So we call this kind of valve body design is fully welded valve body. The basic principle are very similar with the three piece valve body design. We still use the two valve shaft to fix the valve ball in the middle part of the valve body. And then we welding another two piece valve body with the middle piece of the valve body. So this kind of ball valve valve body can work in the very deep underground environment. The valve body ceiling face will never get quotient because it already become an integrity. It is a welding connection. Instead use the flange connection. So that is the five different valve body design. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.